Raise your hand if your favorite color is red. Even if you didn't raise your hand, <laughs> hopefully that will change after this presentation. Hi, my name is Caroline White, and today I'm going to tell you why, even if you didn't raise your hand, red is such an impactful color in our everyday lives. Colors are all around us. They impact what you see, what you wear, and how you feel without you even realizing it. In listening to today's presentation, hopefully you will better understand the impacts of colors all around us and why certain objects in everyday life are red. I'm an art student who has always been very interested in color theory, and I am a huge fan of red. Today we're going to talk about color, what color theory is and the history of red, color psychology and how it can impact your emotions, a study of how red can influence sports victories, and why certain objects in everyday life are red. So we're going to start out with color theory. Color theory is defined by the Interaction Design Foundation as the study of how colors work together to affect our emotions. It was invented by Isaac Newton in 1666 when he created the concept of the color wheel. He identified red as a primary color and it has the warmest tone out of any other color in the wheel. Red is actually the first color that humans perceive after black and white. In history, red was the first color that was broken down, replicated, and mastered into different shades. And it was also the first color used on the side of cave walls in the prehistoric period. In art, red used to be only reserved for royalty. They were the only ones allowed to be depicted wearing it. And to this day, art that has the color red in it sells for the most by far at auctions. So now we're gonna talk about color psychology and how it can make you feel certain emotions. The every single color has positive and negative characteristics and red is absolutely no exception. Michael Kuniecki, a color psychologist, defines the positive characteristics as comfort, warmth, and love. Red is the color of our mortality because it is the color of our blood, making it one of the most important colors in our life. People are so naturally drawn to red for this reason, whether they realize it or not. He goes on to describe the negative characteristics of red as suffering, danger, and caution. Red is the most widespread signaling color in the world as it is the easiest color to see again from any distance. It's very easily seen against the blue sky and the green grass. And red can make you hungry by actually looking at it. According to Frontiers in Psychology, it stimulates your body's metabolism and it increases your heart rate and blood pressure. This is why so many fast food chains have red in their logos and why specifically inside restaurants, there is a lot of decor that is red because it makes you eat faster and restaurants can sell more food that way. Now we're gonna talk about a study of how red can influence sports victories. You may have noticed that sports teams at the top of their leagues tend to have red in their colors. In 2004, sports psychologists Robert Barton and Russell Hill decided to conduct an experiment in the 2004 Olympic Games that year. They looked at the teams of Taekwondo, boxing, and wrestling, and they randomly assigned the colors of blue, red, and gray to each team. They noticed that in large point differences in the matches, the color that the athletes were wearing had absolutely no effect on the outcome. But in closely fought matches, 62% of the time, athletes who won were wearing red. The results showed that these athletes scored the most by far in power and dominance, and that there's actually a perceptual bias from referees towards athletes who wear red. Finally, we're gonna talk about why certain objects in everyday life are red. So you may have noticed red carpets are red, and this is because they represent wealth and prestige. Many countries, including the US, have red in their flags because it is the color of power. M many schools and universities, including Belmont, have red in their colors because it is the color of pride. Many superheroes, including Superman, have red in their logos as well because it represents their energy and determination. And finally, Dorothy's iconic red ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz are red because she clicks her heels and says, there's no place like home, and red is the color of comfort and love. So today you've learned about color history and the theories of that go with red, color psychology and how it can make you feel certain emotions, a study of how red can influence sports victories, and why certain objects in everyday life are red. Now raise your hand if your favorite color is red. <laughs> Even if your answer didn't change, hopefully you found a newfound appreciation for the color. Thank you.